Hello and welcome to another one of Enio Shades Game Maker Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a simple AI that moves around, avoids objects, and chases the player once it's within its sight slash hearing range, depending on what type of game you're making. I'm going to make this in a top-down format, and because um, that's a lot easier for me. I do many more top-down games than anything else, so... Alright, let's get this started. First, you know, do what you always do. Create a sprite. S, um, we're going to call this guy, SPR. Now, I put that SPR on the end right there because it prevents the conflict of sprite names and object names, which can be extremely annoying. Now, you just make a very simple sprite that is basically just a circle that's red. Whoopsies, we're going to make this one blue because it's the ally, you know. Press the center button to make sure the cord the uh, center coordinates of the sprite are right in the middle. Press OK. And now I'm just going to pause this recording and do the other two sprites that I'm going to make because, you know, s the sprite making is not the important part of this, so be right back. Okay, I'm done with the sprites. Now time to make the objects. We're going to start real quick with the um, guy object. See, now that we've um, done the SPR post fix on the name for the sprite we can name the object guy without any um, sprite name and object name conflicts so now we have our guy so we give him a couple of variables like health equals 20 speed that is going to be a constant so I put it in all caps it's just good coding conventions if you don't use them that's what you decided. I use them because it makes coding and reading your code a whole lot easier. Okay. So now let's make this guy move. If you've watched my basic tour uh, my tutorial on the Game Maker Basics, you'll already know how to make somebody move with drag and drop, but I'm now gonna show you how to do it with um GML. And if you already know, then um just skip past this part of the tutorial. I'll get to the other part later. Okay, so what we're going to want to do, I'm just going to show one example, then pause the video, well, pause my recording, um, do the rest of it, and come back and show you how to do the AI. So, here's how you would make something move. If keyboard check VK underscore up. Now, what this will do is, this is if there the button up, the up key, on the keyboard is pressed then that if will be one so then the then will be fulfilled and the then is y minus equals because for some strange reason um well actually no this is actually rather intelligent what they did what mark Overmars did to design game maker the zero zero coordinate of the room is not in the center it is in the top left corner so minus equals moves things up so y minus equals speed, the pr the variable we previously set, and then you have somebody that will move up. So I will show you my code after I'm done. I'm going to pause the recording now. Okay, um, I am done with the code for the movement of your guy. So now we make the enemy. So you press the create object, and you just call it enemy. Give it the enemy sprite, and let's get to it. His health is going to be lower because he's the enemy, so he has to be easy to kill so you can actually do stuff in the game. And just as before, we're going to only use a step event. And this is the about the easiest AI you can possibly make. MP Potential Step. Now, this is movement potential, and then the type is potential step. Now, what this script will do is evaluate a path um, exactly like 360 degree free motion. Uh, it will reevaluate this step, uh, this path every step to get to a target at a spe specified speed, avoiding either. Oh, and uh, you can do MP potential step object that's avoiding only one object, or you can just do avoid non solid, solid, or all, or none. So you can just go st straight through anything. Okay, so. The x and y down here are the target x and y, so we're going to want to do guy.x, comma, 
space guy dot y comma space then the speed which is going to be we're going to set it lower than the guy's speed so you can actually evade them and then check all set that to one so it will avoid all objects or try to avoid all objects in its path so if you were to fire bullets at it it would attempt to dodge them but if they're going fast enough it would obviously fail epically so now this is it that should work completely so now we uh, add the enemy add your guy in the room and then we gotta make the obstacle so just call this block just block SPR there's no code that goes into this obstacle because it's just an obstacle just add a few of them in the room make it kind of exciting now you're just gonna control control your guy with the arrow keys and the AI should avoid all blocks and try to uh, follow your guy and as you can see he does this quite well if you were to go through a block you would avoid it and avoid it and avoid it so we have made a very simple AI now we're going to add a little bit more realism to this AI somehow this AI has the ability to see through things and instantly know where you are let's change that we're going to add a couple more variables called sight range equals we're just gonna set this to 200 now this value is gonna be in pixels no 150 I'm probably gonna be better this value is gonna be in pixels the way we're gonna use it and then we're gonna see then we're gonna add a vari uh, variable called um, active that is for whether it is chasing the enemy or not that is an extremely important variable so just press check the button press the check button now time to add a little bit more code now this is go only going to be if active is equal to one now in a case like this where there's only one event following your if statement you do not need to press enter or then there is an assumed then between there so just press enter a couple times to give us space now we're going to if how should we do this collision line now what this will do is check the clearness of the path between two points this is the shortest path between two points so it's sort of like a vision line now the x1 is going to be x down here whoops the y1 is going to be y because this line is going to start from the center of your object the x2 is going to be guy dot x the y2 is going to be guy dot y the object that you're going to be checking for in between is going to be a block um, precision which is PREC that's precision it's going to turn that to one not me which is kind of obvious make that one of course it's not even checking for itself and now if this is true then we're going to want to put if not, to make sure this is there's not a there there is not a collision between the enemy and the good guy, and the um, distance to object guy is less than or equal to sight range, then again bracket active is equal to one else active is equal to zero now this is my first attempt at making an AI I don't even know why I'm making a tutorial on it since I've never done it but now this is that it just makes it a learning event for you and me so this should work I'm not entirely sure now if I've picked th this the right way good alright see now he has a sight range of let me fix something real quick I noticed this last time I played I accidentally set the wrong directions for the left and right movements so I was going left when I was pressing le uh, going right when I was pressing left and going left when I was pressing right 
It should have fixed it. Yep, fixed it. Okay, now, the enemy has a sight range of probably about out here, because he has a 150 pixel sight range, and he cannot see through objects. So if we creep up to him, he won't notice. But if we get out in the open, he will notice, and then as soon as we get behind an object, he won't know where we've gone, and he will stop tracking us because he can't see us. That is a very simple AI. If you would like me to do more with this or make it more in-depth, then just post a comment on my channel, and I will do my best to get to it. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.